Question 1. What is Passpoint? Answer. Passpoint is a program launched by the Wi-Fi Alliance in an effort to streamline network access in hotspots and eliminate the need for users to find and authenticate a network each time they connect. The first release of Passpoint was in 2012 and the second release was in October 2014. Question 2. What features are included in Passpoint Release 2? Answer. The first release of Passpoint included features around network selection and secure access. In the second release of Passpoint, the Wi-Fi Alliance introduced new, streamlined methods for secure online sign-up and policy provisioning. Digiset Secure Wi-Fi certificates help to secure the online sign-up process. Question 3. Can I use another type of certificate to secure my OSU server? Answer. Wi-Fi certificates are able to authenticate a service provider because of the special Wi-Fi route on Passpoint certified devices. Wi-Fi certificates are the only kind of certificate that can provide this authentication and the visual indicators like the logo and friendly name. Question 4. What are the logo and friendly name? Answer. When you order a secure Wi-Fi certificate, you must include either a logo, friendly name, or both a logo and a friendly name. The logo and friendly name are shown to end users after the Wi-Fi certificate on the OSU server is validated by the device to show that the service provider has been authenticated. Question 5. What information do I need to provide to get a secure Wi-Fi certificate? Answer. To order a secure Wi-Fi certificate you need the common name for the certificate, a logo and or friendly name for your service provider, organization details, name, address, and contact details, name, telephone, email. Once you complete the order, DigiChat's validation team will contact you to gather validation information. Question 6. What other products does DigiCert offer? Answer. As a publicly trusted certificate authority, DigiCert offers a full line of authentication and encryption solutions. Question 7. What is the Wi-Fi Alliance? Answer. The Wi-Fi Alliance is a global industry association that governs the standards around Wi-Fi interoperability and security. Question 8. Do Wi-Fi certificates replace wireless security protocols like WPA2? Answer. No Wi-Fi certificates are only used to encrypt data during the sign-up process. They are not used to encrypt data that is passed while an end-user is browsing the internet. Question 9. If my wireless network doesn't have a lot of traffic, is it okay to use WEP because the IVS required to crack the WEP key won't be generated? Answer. No automated tools are available that allow attackers to capture an app packet and re-inject it to the access point very rapidly. This generates a significant amount of traffic and allows the attacker to capture enough unique initialization vectors to quickly crack the key. Question 10. What is the difference between active and passive WLAN detection? Answer. Active WLAN detection requires that the SSID be broadcast in the beacon frame. Passive WLAN detection listens to all traffic in range of the device and determines what WLANs are in range. Question 11. Briefly describe the process involved in cracking WEP. Answer. To efficiently crack a WEP key, you first need to obtain an address resolution protocol app packet from the access point you want to attack. You can obtain this packet using a tool such as Void11 to send the authentication packets to the clients associated with that access point. When the clients reassociate to the access point, app packets will be generated and can be captured. After you have captured a valid app packet, you can use a tool such as Airplay, a part of the Aircrack suite, to inject the app packet back into the network. Question 12. How many types of extensible authentication protocols EAPS are supported by WPA, WPA2 and what are they? Answer. There are six fully supported EAP types for WPA, WPA2, EAPTLS, EAPTLS, MSCHAPV2. Question 13. What is the primary difference between 802.11 grams and 802.11a? Answer. 802.11 grams operates in the 2.4 GHz frequency range, as do 802.11b and 802.11i, whereas 802.11a operates in the 5 GHz frequency range. Question 14. What is the difference between the hostup drivers and the WLANNG drivers for Linux? Answer. Both of these drivers work with a variety of cards, however, only the host AP drivers allow you to place your card in monitor mode. 
Question 15. Who determines the wireless standards? Answer. The IEEE develops and determines the wireless standards 802.11a, b, g, and so on. The Wi-Fi Alliance, the group that owns the Wi-Fi trademark, then certifies the interoperability of these devices.